Okay, we're going to be doing an oil change on a 1996 NRP recovery machine model FF1. Tools you're going to need is going to be a Schrader valve remover with a hose attachment. Got your drain hose, drain bucket. Um, I'm just using this Folgers thing. And then you're going to need your vacuum pump at the end after you put the oil in to make sure there's no moisture in the system. And uh, it's paper towels. So now we're going to flip this over to get to the drain. Actually, oh, actually I can just pull it right here. So I'm going to come down here. There's our port so when you enter when you put this in insert it give it a little bit of space don't just shove it in there because you could potentially break the Schrader on the inside you're gonna have a lot bigger problem okay so now we got that in there we're gonna push it down a little bit till you hear it click just like that. Turn to the left. Turn to the left. There it goes. Come on. And should be free. And double check real quick. Nope, almost. Gotta push back in a little bit more. Push back in. Okay. There we go. Got all that oil dripping out. So now we're gonna let that drain for a little bit. Tilt it a little bit more. Sometimes while the compressor is sitting inside, you wanna to try to tilt it at an angle. And get all that oil to come out. There we go, we're draining down now. Okay, so we got it drained out now. Now we're gonna add little bit by little at a time. Let gravity do the rest of the work. That's about how much I lost when I took a mold oil out. let it slowly go down the reason I'm changing the oil on this is because the um, person I bought this from they hadn't changed the oil since they bought the unit and in the year uh, 1996 they didn't really have blends or refrigerants they weren't really that popular uh, back then it was R22, R12, R500, R134A now we have all these synthetic blends. So what I'm doing is I'm switching the oil to a synthetic uh, polyester uh, based oil. That way it can run those types of refrigerants. And just let it slowly go in. So I got the new oil in there, 
nice and clear looks good about halfway right now once I get done pulling a vacuum on it getting all the rest of the moisture out of there we'll see where it's at but the inside of this doesn't look too bad a little bit of spiders that's about it I think I just see some webs now that board in there is dirtier than shit uh, might blow it out with some air later. Right now I'm just going to finish wiping down the rest of this. This thing being 20 years, 21 years old, still running good. And that is, that is really something right there. Really gonna have to blow that thing out. That's been replaced. So that was something wrong with that before. I don't think I have any. Hmm. I don't think I got any air. Got to find a compressed air. Definitely not using brake cleaner. Yeah. That oil is starting to get a little bit yellow too. Definitely pulling out that moisture. Hmm. Hopefully the next video I got I'll be uh, I'll be pulling something with this. Before I bought it, I did use it. It recovered great. I used it uh, on a condenser outside. had about 19 pounds left in it, and I pulled it out and recovered it. The, uh, this is here containing less than 200 pounds. I know for sure this motor is a one horsepower motor or one horsepower compressor and this son of a gun weighs over 50 pounds so I know I can use it for big projects coming up anyways thanks for watching